Right, the 2023 season begins right here, right now. It's the first proper tournament of the year. The Scottish Order of Merit schedule starts here. Craig Miller Park Open. Should be fun. It's going to be a trip through to Edinburgh. I'm staying with my friend Chris for the weekend. The tournament kicks off tomorrow morning. That's This is Friday now, so it's Saturday morning. I've got 7.36 a.m. tea time, which is brutal. Uh, we've just been into Morrison's. Shout out Morrison's. <laughs> no free ads. Um, I've got my Morrison's saver card. I'm not silly. But uh, I've just bought all my yogurts and yogurt drinks, bananas for the weekend. Sent me back a tenner. That's absolutely Fine. We're going to keep documenting the cost as we go through this weekend and it should be fun. I hope. I'll talk later about kind of expectations for the goal from whatever, but right now I just need to go get some petrol because that's going to be crucial for getting me through to Edinburgh. Bear with me, bear with me. Right, that was £36.47 for petrol to top up the tank. RIP my bank account. Right, this is the last bag to go in the car. There we go. All set, ready for the journey to Craig Miller. An hour 15 to the house that I'm staying. Well, I'm staying with my friend Chris. So I'm going to stick on a podcast. You obviously don't have to join me for that but in the meantime we had the practice round last thursday today was the official practice day but i thought we'd get it done last week just put in the work so uh yeah here's the highlights from that and then when you next see me i will be in edinburgh by the power of the internet right made it here to craig miller park for the craig miller park practice round but that is a steep hill that's not going to be fun to climb up straight away so that was the first big climb of the day looking forward to the rest of it and you can see in the background off the seat, we'll get a better view of that later. <sighs> Worth the climb. See the daffodils that can only mean one thing. We're coming up to the hole where I made my big number last year. So I look forward to taking this one again for the first time since then. You'll know all about that if you saw the season review episode. Let's see how this one goes. So, all right, so just for the record, for the record, Collins hit a drive off the record and he said it was a big boy drive, like his best one of the day. And we're going to see if I, I mean, you've just seen my swing. We're going to see if I've gone longer than it because this will be emasculating for him. Uh, first time for everything today, but we'll see. No sign yet. No, no. Uh, okay, well, that's us. Colin has done us. He's nearly held the pitch shot as well, fair play. Yeah, you got us, but I pitch it in a rough, so if you pitch on the fairway and get all the kick, then that's just cheating, isn't it? Well, we're in the flat, and I hope you enjoyed those practice round highlights. Breaking news, massive breaking news. My boy Chris has absolutely smashed it with the setup. Look at that for a bed. I was ready for a sofa, but he has sacrificed himself. Where is it? Here he is. He has sacrificed himself. He's got the pillow. <laughs> oh, Chris, thank you. You are a hero. How does it feel to be saving my life in this situation? Um, I think when you're winning Augusta, I hope for the par three invite to be honest after giving you the bed. I, I, I think that's my hope. I think that's only fair. Thank you very much. Right, it's 6 20 in the morning we've made it saturday morning i'm awake let's get there have a warm-up there's only a net so craig miller park open 72 hole tournament first scottish order of merit event of the year 72 competitors i believe top 14 ties make the cut to get through so it's 36 holes then the cut and then 36 on the sunday order of merit points available for the top 15 players yeah that's basically what this event is spring has sprung spring has sprung all right craig miller park that's us all signed in i'm just having my shake and banana for breakfast the camera's a bit wonky because i've got you on the steering wheel because i need to eat food just a quick word on how my game's feeling right now game's feeling good had a good round on Tuesday. We were in Edinburgh again. Well, it was East Lothian. Gullen number two, for any of you who've played it. Gullen's just a beautiful place. So I had a good score there. I shot four under at Gullen number two. Yeah, I think the biggest battle was just with myself today, giving myself permission to have a good day. It's going to be sunny. I'm going to have a good day. It's just whether I have a good scoring golf day, golf scoring day, whatever. Like, it, will I have good scorecards by the end of it? That's basically the question. Right, right now I'm feeling good. I'm sure I'll be nervous on the first tee. Yeah, see you later. Oh, I'm looking sun-kissed. Quick checking after round one. Uh, shot 74, which is four over par. Not my best. Uh, felt pretty comfortable. Just didn't make a putt, which is okay, because I putted quite well. Yeah, it's kind of one of those where when I hit the greens, over to maybe 20, 30 feet, and you can't really continue to make those putts. And made some good up and downs, to be fair, but 
just missing some greens caught up with me. So looking at the scores in already, obviously only a few groups in front of me. It's not great, but it can only get better this afternoon. So I've got my, actually I'll show you the setup. I've got my bolognese, I've got my hat, I've got my banana, actually half a banana that was left over from this morning. So that's been festering, but um, maybe I won't eat that. But yeah, so we get to go in another 40 minutes for the second round. I'm looking forward to it, feeling good. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm gonna stick to my process. I'm gonna keep doing all the right things. And let's try and make some birdies this afternoon. Only one this morning, so what can you do? Right, we're going to play a little game. I'm going to summarise round two in hat form. It's like that. That's how round two went. So the good news is, I think we're making the cut. Should you know, I'm changing my hat. That's a bad look. So anyway, we should be making the cut. I shot two over par, 72. Uh, we had it going in the afternoon. We got a good start. We birdied the first, and then we went on a run of pars, which was fine. And then birdied nine to get to two under. Doubled the 12th, which was poor. Three putt bogeyed 16 and 17 coming in. So it was a bit of a sloppy 72. But the, the main thing is, we've made the cut. Uh, it's not quite as good as I was hoping it would be. These are some of the best, you know, I've shown you the start sheet. You've seen that it's a lot of plus handicappers. In fact, you had to be a plus handicapper to get in this. I'm pretty tired, can't feel my legs. Leaving here, this is half five right now. Obviously, we started, I was up at half five this morning, so that was 12 hours ago, so pretty tired. Looking to have a lovely shower, get a good dinner in, and just chill out for a bit this afternoon, and then see what the tea times are for tomorrow, because should be making a cut. And you can see, oh my God, this is, oh no, now I'm seeing it, mate didn't put sun cream on today and the sun was out oh this is the first time of the year uh we need to have a better skincare routine i guess so that's a solid start to the year's first event of the year and our goal tomorrow i want order of merit points that's what i want i don't ask for much and you gotta get top 15 for that if we could have a little run and try and get close to that top 15 i think that's our goal for tomorrow so that's where we're at i haven't got much else to say who's just in we made the cut cut day over shot six over i've got dominoes and chris is here so at this point, I just want to interrupt the video to give a big, massive thank you shout out to my two patrons who have signed up to my Patreon, Zach Bedford and Brian Boyter. Thank you guys. Your financial support means everything. You're getting some fantastic little behind the scenes bits over on Patreon. And if you watching this want to do the same, the link is down in the description. And that's all I'm going to say about it. If you want to support me and get some more juicy golfing content behind the scenes, that's the place to go. Okay, on with the video. Car is 100% frozen this morning. That's an unexpected plot twist. Sunday morning at Craig Miller Park, the dawn has risen. I believe the lead after day one needs to stick a leaderboard in. I believe the lead is seven under, so we're 13 off it. So it'll take something very special to win. Our goal today is a bit more simple than that. We're gonna stick to our process just like yesterday, keep doing the right things, make good decisions. We made some mistakes yesterday. As I'll go through for everyone on my Patreon channel, I'll go through it shot by shot. And there were some interesting shots in there yesterday. In the meantime on YouTube, all you need to know is that I made a lot of good decisions yesterday. I stayed patient when the greens were getting crackly and bobbly and really tough to hole out from like two or three feet. So perhaps wasn't the best scores I could have shot yesterday, but I was pretty pleased with the goal. And yeah, so I'm out at 8.27 today. I was hoping for a bit more of a lay-in. They've put us out in three balls as well, which is fine, but I was kind of hoping for two balls so it'd be quicker. But three balls of people who are playing the best golf, hopefully it'll be quicker anyway. So yeah, so we've beaten quite a few people to get in. The cut ended up being eight over, so we've made it by two. I'll be interested to see what the pin positions are today, because yesterday they were a little bit naughty. So I wonder if they're still naughty today. I feel good. This is first tournament of the year. We're getting some rust off. Literally nothing else to say. Like, just having a nice time. It's meant to be really sunny. Right, quickest update ever, because we've only got like five minutes for lunch. We're actually on the tee right now, so I shouldn't even be doing this, but it's what I do for you, all my loyal subscribers. Anyway, so um, not the best round. Uh, we started off pretty steady though. I'm just kidding. I started with treble bogey, which is a, was a nightmare. And then bogeyed the fourth. Actually got it back for a bit. Had a couple of birdies. I was two over at turn. Then had another treble, which was not good. And then we ended up six over par. So if you'd asked me about an hour ago, this would have been expletive filled, but we're not that channel. There's not much else to report. I had four birdies. Like if I do that this afternoon with no bogeys, then we shoot a good round. So, so let's do that. Okay, round two reaction, better. Learned a phrase recently. They say, a lot, a lot of the guys I'm playing with are saying, like, when you're playing bad, it's shooting beans. Today I shot beans. Uh, second round was better, I shot 72, but that was with a double bogey on the six, and then I birdied seven, bounce back ability, bogeyed eight, and then I piled in. That was the tournament, 74, 72, 
76, 72. It's a steady start to the season. I'm beating one person so far. <laughs> so hopefully a few more people, you know, I, I'm not gonna wish bad on other people, actually, I'm not gonna do that. But, you know, hopefully I don't just come second from last of the people that made the cut. What can you do? I've, I've shot eight over today for the uh, total, 76, 72. Eight over total and I had two trebles this morning and a double this afternoon. Only the one birdie this afternoon. Yeah. So it's the morning after, I haven't shaved in at least two days, I look terrible. Uh, quick reflection, I feel a lot better about it now, which I guess is natural time as a healer. So we made the cut, we end up finishing 37th, I'll stick the leaderboard here. Kind of worse than I was expecting, I thought that 72 might save me something, but that's just a, a highlight of the standard that we're playing at here, Scottish National Order of Merit, these boys don't muck about. 72 means nothing, two over par means nothing. Six over par is terrible, there were like three or four scores worse than that yesterday. Um, and I did have a two treble, so that's a reflection, is lots of really good stuff to build on. Yesterday, three big scores killed me. Yeah, the winner shot 13 under, so we were 27 off that. We're not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to tell you, oh yeah, next week I'll win, because we've got a lot of work to do. But it's the first event of the season. It's all experience, and we're going to learn from it. We're going to improve from it. And we're going to make up those 27 shots. Actually, it's also worth noting here that while I was 27 shots off the leader, who clearly played the best golf of the weekend by far, because he won by three, I was... I was 14 over for the tournament and then four over would have got you top 15 for the Scottish Order of Merit points. I think that four over was tied 12. So we're only 10 shots away from that. And need I remind you that I had two trebles yesterday and a double that were all very, very silly. So I know you can just say, oh yeah, wipe them all out, make birdies. And then I, and then I shoot like 12 shots better. It doesn't work like that, but it's still a fact. So what are you gonna do? It sounds like a big mountain to climb and there probably is a mountain to climb, but it's all possible. This mountain used to be bigger. Now it's slightly smaller than it was. So, uh, because this is the first time I've made the cut in this event. I've played in it three times now. My first time was 2019. My second time was last year, 2022. This is the first time I've made the cut in it. So overall, that is a reflection. I've actually made the cut. That is an achievement in itself, even though right now it feels like I didn't score my best golf. I actually played a lot of good golf and it's a sign of how far I've come that my not best golf still made the cut. Came 37th on my own. Just one check for me, no splitting money. So that's it for this vlog like thank you to chris for being such a gracious host let me have the bed all the nights and uh we had a nice time in edinburgh last night watching the end of the masters shout out john Rahm, please subscribe and that's a wrap on craig miller park open 2023 we'll be back for another one soon i hope you enjoyed this if you did enjoy it nah you know i don't even need your likes and subscribes i'm just having a good time here and you can come along and watch it so that's that's enough all right see you later Oh, and before I forget, we should have a roundup of the finances because that's how we started this vlog. So all in all, looking at the cost, thanks to the Curve app for being able to document this so beautifully. But this weekend has cost me in the region, just rounding all the numbers up, £103 specifically with costs related to the Craig Miller Park Open and then the entry fee itself was £50. So that's just over 150, well, 153, so just over £150 it has cost me this week to play this event, to come 37th on my own. So I guess that's the price for experience right now. Um, it's a solid start. Uh, there's definitely events which are gonna cost me more money this year. But £153 for those that are interested. And after our result at Gullen earlier in the week on Tuesday, we should be receiving a prize back from that. Not sure how much it is yet, but hopefully, hopefully it's 150 pounds, so it will uh, cover cover these costs in voucher form, of course, because the amateurs don't get paid cash on that tour. But that's a whole other story. And if that's of interest to you, and if that is something that you are aggrieved about, um, I can't say I'm aggrieved about it. I'm used to it. But if that is something you're aggrieved about. Guys, I've got a link to my Patreon below. You can help support me from just £3.50 a month. Oh my God, it's so cheap. That's like the price of a cup of coffee. Yeah, if you want to help support me so that I don't feel, feel the squeeze as much with regard to the cost of these tournaments, then absolutely feel free to check the link below. You get behind the scenes access to all my stuff. I'm going to be doing a rundown of every single round from this week, talking through shot by shot and kind of the thought process behind those shots. That's going to be on the Patreon. And I've also got monthly progress reports of how my swing's looking and you get early access to all my youtube videos as well so that's what you get if you go over to my patreon the link is down below in the description thanking you kindly